Hey there, YouTube. Uh, I want to make a quick video on the value of a, a bruise uh, in Ray Shadow Legends for different uh, champion ranks. Um, I haven't seen this discussed too much, uh, and I haven't done like an extensive analysis on this. Uh, I've just done kind of a basic look at it, but uh, I figured it would be a interesting topic to look at and kind of maybe open the conversation on it, and maybe it's something to get people to think about. Um, so for context as to why I'm doing this is I'm looking at doing this Wixwell's Path event uh, to get the uh, Wixwell Soul here, and uh, to do this, one of the ways you can do it is you can you can get a uh, you can level up champions, and by doing that you get points for it. So for this particular event, uh, what you get is if you rank up or sorry if you level up a rank two champion, you get three points per level. If you uh, level up a uh, five star champion, you get you know thirteen points per level. And so based on this, you can see that uh, if you're leveling up low level champions, for each level you're getting a lot less a lot fewer points in the event compared to if you're leveling up higher ranked champions. And so this kind of got me to thinking, well, uh, what's the best way to use bruise in this situation to get points for the event? And maybe this idea applies also to general champion training events. So kind of what do I mean by that? Let me pull up a notepad here. Um, so I, I did the math already on another notepad, but I want to do... Uh, I want to do this on a fresh notepad just to kind of walk through the thought process. I think it's a little bit easier to to see it all at one time here. So let me have it organize that. All right. Um, so what I mean by this is if I'm looking at leveling up a, a rank two and I just have a single brew that I'm going to feed into them. So I feed a single spirit brew into the spirit champion. Uh, so if we're looking at a, a two star rank 2 champion, and we compare this to looking at a rank 5 champion, for example. Uh, so, one brew for this champion, that takes them from level 1 up to level 10, right? So you can see, <coughs> if we feed that one brew in, we get uh, level 1 to level 10. So, from one brew, we gain 9 levels on this champion, and uh, so that's for a rank 2. Compare that to a for a rank five, what do you get? So for a rank five, like this one here, feed a single brew into them. They'll go from level one up to level nine. So they're gonna gain uh, eight levels through this process here. All right, now one kind of important caveat to this is, so this is just looking at the experience gain from a single brew starting at level one on each rank. I don't know how the experience point curve works. So for example, maybe maybe if, maybe the next set of experience going from uh, level level nine to you know level 15 or whatever, uh, maybe it costs so much more experience on a rank five compared to a, a rank two that you get much fewer points out of doing things that way. Um, I don't know. That's just a guess that that could be possible. Somebody would have to do the math on that and really work it all out to be sure. Um, okay, so you, so comparing the two champions, you gain roughly the same amount of levels with one brew. Uh, and if you look at the event points for that, uh, <coughs> for uh, rank two, you get three points per brew. And so, oops. For rank two, that's three points, uh, or sorry, three points per level. And for rank five, you get 13 points per level. And so the total points that you get here, in both cases, uh, for rank two, it's going to be three points per brew times nine levels. It's going to be 27 points in the event. And then for the rank five, you get 13 points per brew times eight levels, which is... 80 plus 24, 104 points, I think. Right, so this is kind of the key thing to think about here, is that, so in both cases, you're using a single brew. So if we go back to the tavern here. In this case, um, I'm spending a single spirit brew here. 
And in this case, when I do it, I get 104 points out of this one brew. Compare that to if I go over to my two-star champion, I spend the same spirit brew here. I get 27 points out of that brew. So I get, you know, about four to five times the amount of value out of the brew by spending it on a higher rank champion. Um, and this might also go for rank six, I'm not sure. Um, but again, like I said, you know, as you go up higher levels and higher ranks, I don't know if the curves changed to make the math, math different. Uh, but I don't know, I think it's something interesting to think about. Because if you get in a spot like me here where I have, I just have a couple force brews left because I <coughs> used all my brews on the recent Wixwell Fusion. Uh, so usually, I don't know, when, once you've been playing the game a while, it's like you eventually get to a point where you just have like hundreds of brews or thousands of brews. And so they, they seem like they're kind of like a, almost like an, not an infinite resource, but you could just have a ton of them. But, uh, yeah, if you're doing a lot of uh, these champion training events, trying to level up champions and stuff, they can start to become a little bit more scarce. And so <clears throat> when you're looking at a scarce resource, something to think about is how much value to get out of that resource. All right. So if, um, you know, maybe I only want to spend, you know, 100 or 200 of these spirit brews because I want to save them up. Well, if I, I spend 100 or 200 spirit brews on rank five champions, uh, then uh, then I'm going to get way more points, way more value out of them than if I go the other way with the rank twos. And and the other thing to think about, too, is, you know, it's, like, you can, like, there's nothing stopping me from doing this here. Like, it feels it feels kind of bad to, to not spend brews on these low-level champions because it's like, this is just like, a, it's like you're wasting potential... Um, champion training points by by feeding them in without leveling them up and that kind of gets you listen to content creators and they they kind of beat it into your head to you know not level up champions or sorry not to rank up champions without kind of leveling up your food first um because you, you lose out on so many champion training points but i guess just the the main take takeaway or the thing that i think is worth thinking about is while that's true that you lose points that way on the other hand you're also losing out points by using brews on um, champions where you get a low return, uh, a low point return, compared to, you know, if you're eventually going to get more five-star champions, then, you know, you might as well get, like, a, a higher value out of those brews that you're using. Um, so, I don't know, it's something to think about. I'm sure somebody could do a more exhaustive analysis on it that would... Uh, uh, prove this to be correct or incorrect or somewhere in the middle or maybe it's situational i don't know but just something to think about uh that's all for now thanks